Thank you, John Browning, for this beautiful creation right here. Welcome to the channel, guys. My name is Grant Smith. This is typically an archery, bow hunting, and outdoors channel, but today we're going to be looking at the Kimber Custom 2 1911. This is a full size 1911. And before we go any further, a disclaimer I am by no means a pistol expert or professional, okay? I have a lot to learn myself, but there's some cool things that I like about this firearm and I want to share them with you guys. So there is a reason why I shoot in archery tournaments, not pistol tournaments. Let's dig in. Okay, so when you purchase the Kimber Custom 2 1911, uh, it does come with this nice Pelican case here. And for safety purposes, I'll go ahead and show the firearm is in fact clear. So let's talk about 1911s real quick. Obviously manufactured in the year 1911, uh, it has been used in World War I, World War II, Vietnam, Korea, Iraq, Afghanistan, um, mil or military, law enforcement. Um, you know, some law enforcement agencies still actually use this today. It's been a very popular firearm for a very, very long time. One of the reasons is the trigger on the 1911. So, Kimber says the trigger is about four to five pounds. Um, personally, Shooting this firearm, I love it. I absolutely love the trigger. Um, to me, it's like heaven. It's something that as someone who's definitely not a professional with pistols, um, I can be very effective with this firearm. Um, and a lot of that is just, well, one's due to the ergonomics, but also I just, I love the trigger on it. I think it's great at 30 yards, as you can see here. I'm effective with this firearm. So um, love, love, love the trigger. It does have two safeties. So it has this thumb safety there and has the grip safety right here. So it's, it's actually a very safe gun when the safeties are being used. A lot of people don't like the th some thumb safety and are against them. To me, if you train with this firearm and you get used when you draw it to coming down on it, I actually kind of like to set my thumb on it but it's, it's not bad at all. It really isn't. So um, let's look at the magazine. It does come with a seven round magazine. So that is one thing that people typically don't like about this is it's a seven plus one. You can buy other magazines for it. You can buy a 10. Um, but for me, I just, I, I, this is not my everyday carry. So I have no issues with the seven round magazine. However, that is something that a lot of people don't like about it. When it comes to ammunition that I've put through it, um, usually just your, your typical range ammo um, is what I shoot on the range, like your uh, blazer brass. Uh, when I do carry it in the back country uh, as my sidearm for bow hunting, I do like this critical defense by Hornady. Um, and when you get into holsters with it, let's look at a couple that I've tried. This one, I'm not even really sure who the manufacturer is. I picked this thing up at Cabela's. Um, it is a um, hard shell plastic holster. Um, it can actually be used for inside the waistband or outside the waistband. Right now it is for outside the waistband. Um, I, I've tried to carry it concealed. It's not very comfortable for me. A lot of the firearm, a lot of the holster just kind of digs into your side a little bit, especially when sitting down. So I, I didn't find it very comfortable. Um, the holster that I did find the most comfortable was actually the cheapest. It's this one made by Blackhawk here, just like a universal larger handgun size holster. Um, and it is extremely comfortable. It's, it's cloth, so it's very comfortable against the skin. Um, it, it covers up the firearm pretty well, so nothing really digs into you. However, the main major downfall I'll show you right here is it doesn't hold the pistol well at all. As you can see, it's just cloth, so there's there's nothing holding it, and that's how this actually happened. As you can see right there, um, when I first got it, I was trying it out. Um, I was practicing drawing from it. Obviously, uh, I was being safe. It was not loaded, but it did drop, hit the floor, and that I do have to get a replacement piece there. Um, so, not a real big fan of this holster, even though it is comfortable. Um, it's I, I I want the firearm to be secured in there. Um, this one right here, this is interesting. This is pretty expensive. This was, I believe, 100, 120. This is the Urban Carry G2. Um, this 
made by Urban Carry. This is a deep concealment holster. Um, it is designed so it basically sits down inside your pants. Um, let's throw it in there. So this will sit down inside your pants. This clips onto your 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 belt or the edge of your pants, and it has this. I guess it's supposed to look like one of those old school cell phone hol holsters. A um, lot of negative reviews about this. A lot of positive reviews about this. So I decided to give it a good try. I tried this for about two months. Um, my thoughts are it's okay. I did everything they asked me to. I I put conditioner on the leather. I wore baggier pants. Um, there is no getting around it. This thing prints when you're sitting down with the full size firearm. It, it's pressed up against your leg, your pants. It doesn't matter how bit baggy your pants are. When you're sitting down, at least in my experiences with a full size firearm, this is going to print. So it's kind of a cool option. Um, if you're looking for something really deep concealment, I don't think it's it's very practical for every day. I, I think it, it looks like you have a firearm on you, especially when you're sitting down. Um, it, it's pretty heavy to it, slap it against the thigh there. So it, it, I'm sure this works better. I don't want to sit here and rag on Urban Carry. I'm sure it works better with smaller firearms. Okay, so demonstrating quickly with your Urban Carry G2. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it definitely prints on the pants there. These pants are actually two size larger than what I normally wear. And if you want to draw from it, it's kind of, I like to say it's a three step draw, but you're gonna do the garment, grab it, pull it up, and then you have the firearm. So that's obviously a quick draw. I don't practice with this thing a bunch uh, just cause I don't really carry with it very often, but that is a little bit more on the G2. I like to stick with my outside the waistband holster. Um, if this is something you are looking to uh, carry concealed the winter is probably a good time for it you can find a nice cover garment to go over top this a jacket a bag of your shirt it's going to be harder in the summertime but this is the holster i typically carry when i'm carrying this firearm thank you for watching today's video hit that like and subscribe button for me i've got new content coming every week archery bow hunting outdoors if you guys like today's firearm video and want to see me do more or let's call them pew pew right let's be youtube friendly if you want to see me do more firearm or pew pew videos comment down below what you guys would like to see me review next i'll do my best to try to get it done for you thanks and have a good one